A product owner refuses to allow access to the developers, sorry, to the stakeholders by the developers. What do you do? Um, can I change the product owner? So what is the product owner's role in this situation? Many people do see themselves as a gatekeeper. They believe that they're, well, the BA. Let's be honest, that's what BAs used to do. And the stereotypical BA, I'm not, I've worked with some really good ones and I'm very conscious that I'm gonna get shouted at if they see this. Um, but we come across the people who say, no, I talk to the stakeholders and then I tell you what they want. Your product owner is now sat in that role. I'm special. I'm the person who goes out and talks, not you developers. You can't do that. How could you possibly hold a conversation with another human being? Um, so much wrong with that statement, yet you still come across it. Developers can hold conversations with other human beings. We may not be the most eloquent. We may not be the best turned out people, but we can talk to people. Okay? It's not a difficult skill set. Not all of us, I'll be honest. Some of us maybe don't want to do that, and that's fine. But others can and do on a daily basis. I'm married. I've got kids. I have no choice. Even if I don't want to talk to them, I have to at least once a day. So that's nonsense. They can talk to. So you don't want them to talk to because they're not going to put the right spin on it. They're not going to. I don't know what. Do you have a trust issue? Do you not trust your developers to have the right conversations? Do you not trust your stakeholders to stay within the confines of the conversation that you were expecting them to have. Well, call it that. Okay, we can work on that if that's what it is. Okay, you don't know that the developers are gonna have that conversation. Maybe you could be going with them for the first few, helping them understand the boundaries of conversation, what they can and can't ask. Whatever it is that you're concerned about can be brought into the open through practice. Very quickly, most people in our world are incredibly bright. They're going to work out what they can and can't say, be it political or organisational or whatever. Okay. Um, do you not trust your stakeholders to stay in the boundaries? OK, we'll work with the stakeholder in the same way. Say, well, OK, that's not actually the thing we were talking about. That feels a bit like a scope creep. Let's add a new item to the backlog and we'll come back to that when it makes sense. Okay. Help your developers have those skills if they don't have them to nuance that conversation so that it can stay on target. Use stakeholders as well, okay? It's an education piece. It's a realignment piece as to what the topic is and what's in and out of scope for this conversation. Not for everything, but just for this now, we're here to talk about this. That's really interesting, but let's come back to that later. Okay? I've also always wondered, you don't want them to talk to the people who can solve their problem. I often liken this to a plumber. You've got a choice. Okay? You get up in the morning before work, and we're all in this wonderful world where we can you know, leave the bedroom, walk into our office, turn a computer on, wherever that office may be, and we're at work. Great, but you decide to have a shower, and beforehand you turn it on and the water comes out. Not out of the shower head above you, but out of the back of the shower, it's going everywhere. Uh, it's gonna be a disaster very shortly. Who do you ring? Do you ring a business analyst? Do you ring a product owner to explain your issue to? Or do you just ring the plumber? Do you just ring somebody who will turn up and help you solve the problem? They're probably gonna walk in and go, it's one of these, do this, 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 I'll fix that, job done, go away. In that moment, when you've gotta make that decision, are you playing through who's gonna be the best turned out person? Who's gonna be eloquent? Who's gonna understand everything that I have to say about this? Or are you gonna think, who can fix the pipe? Developers fix the pipe. I'm sure some of them don't like me equating them to plumbers, but there are definitely parallels. They're there to solve problems. They want to solve problems. They enjoy solving problems and they're incredibly capable of it. Your role as a product owner is not to get in their way. In fact, I would say your role is to deliberately get out of their way within the constraints of that conversation. You've determined that this item is important. Talking to that customer and solving their problem is the most important thing this team could be looking at. Facilitate that conversation. Get those developers and those stakeholders together and ensure that they do have that conversation. Okay? That way, you've got somebody with a problem and those that can solve it in a room, potentially solving it there and then. Does it get more agile? Does it get better? Not really.
If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.